this video is actually sponsored um, by this awesome company called CustomizedBikeParts.com. Uh, you can search them on eBay. Um, the owner, Chris, lives in Indiana. Everything's made by him. He makes them one at a time, uh, the tidy tails. Uh, they're very, very thick steel, very strong. I've run one on my FZ now for about two and a half years and have had no issue with it. Um, he also them in, of course, powder coat black and in bare, so you can paint them whatever color you want if you don't want them black. Um, and of course, it does have these little tabs that you have to break out when you uh, when you run your stock signals. It's also the little tabs are acceptable for the aftermarket signals as well. So it's got two different sizes, so pretty cool. Um, he does include an extremely bright LED light with it. You do have to hardwire it in, but it's not very hard. I'm going to take you through that step as well. Um, so let's get to cracking. We're going to be doing this on Emily's 2019 Ninja 400 uh, KRT. Um, it's going to be the exact same for the Z400 as well. Uh, there's not really going to be any differences. So if you've got a Z400, this fits. Um, also, uh, I'll send a link directly to his eBay store on um, in the in the description below and uh, also if you want if you decide to buy anything from him he makes them for a ton of different bikes um, so use uh, you can use my discount code it's just Woolies uh, W H O O L I E S Woolies gets you 5% off 5% off of your order so have at it try to support some American made stuff dude's awesome very quick to respond super nice dude all right, so some people like this. I, I just don't, and neither does Emily. So we're gonna, we're gonna just be swapping this out. It's gonna look so much cleaner, like legitimately so much cleaner. But for the time being, let's go ahead and start. Start by removing our passenger seat here. All right, so we have. These wires here, you can just kind of pop these right on up out the way so they're not in your way. I'm gonna take you five millimeter. I'm gonna start back here with the most difficult to access one. And you're going to want to take and support on this last one just so nothing drops and stresses wires. Not that it's heavy enough to really stress it, but I don't like taking a chance. So now, this can just drop right on down here. And just set it against the rear tire, it's fine. It's just enough to support it. So, you have your connectors here. These are your wires for your turn signal. So. That's what I was saying, you don't really want to stress those out at all. But if you reach down in here, uh, you're not going to be able to see on the camera, but it'll make sense when you see it. It's just a standard little, uh, little clip. So press down on, remove. And the same thing for the black one. And you don't have to strip those. Um, if you're doing aftermarket turn signals, you're going to have to. I, actually, maybe not with this kit. Actually, if I remember correctly, uh, you're also going to want to go ahead and disconnect the plate light as well that feeds down in there. So it's two black connectors, one gray connector. If you have big hands, it's going to be a pain in the I don't have big hands and it's still a pain in the butt. There we go. All right, so you got everything unclipped there. So you can take and just feed everything through. All right, so we fed everything through. And now we're looking for this wire right here. What we're gonna do, it's actually your big, big black one here. Feed this back through. And I am going 
going to make it a little bit easier and I'm just going to wire this connector up to the LED light that comes on the tidy tape just to make it easier for me. So we'll go in here in the shed and start on this. Um, of course, you can take all this out here. Now for removing your stock turn signals, easiest, simplest way to look is a Phillips head screw here and here on each side. And it just kind of works to kind of press everything out and hold it in good and tight. So we're going to be reusing our stocks on this for right now until, until we figure out what we're going to go with. I think we're going to go with the TST integrated taillight. So these will be obsolete here soon. and There'll be a video on that, of course, too. So back to what we were saying here. We've got this, the stock connector. We are going to reuse it. So start by peeling a little factory green tape off here. And really honestly, I'm doing this with the most basic hand tools possible. To kind of prove that you don't need just up to there. I'm just going to take and turn this back just a little bit. Peel it some. That way we have a little bit more wire to work with. Now Kawasaki, they're pretty obvious. They're easier than Yamaha is. Yamaha likes to use random color codes for wires, but Kawasaki, they're pretty simple. Red is hot. Black is ground on this. Take strip these back real quick. Yeah, I want a little bit more than that, so there we go. So we got those stripped. And we're just gonna be use, using standard crimps because this ain't gonna fit through there. It has to fit through there. It's not going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and mount this up and run our wiring through. And of course, customized bike parts, they keep it pretty simple. It's just red and black over here. And it is pretty thin gauge wiring, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this back and double it over a little bit. I mean, it's, it's really a simple setup. So you just unscrew the bolts on. Well. So because this is such thin gauge wiring for the LED, we're actually going to strip this back a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just so that way I can fold it over when I crimp it. And it's got a little bit more bite to it. Yeah, I know soldering is the best way to do it, but again, we're going back to basics here, absolute basics, hand tools here. We'll take this, double it like that, twist it up just a little bit. I'm sure I'm going to get comments in this video about using the crimp connectors, but you know what? It 
works. And I seal everything up with electrical tape afterwards, so. It's not like I just leave them out for the moisture and everything else to get into it. All right, so now we got those bundled up. Cross off another piece of tape here. this, seal them down even more. Now if you want to do soldering and all that, that's perfectly fine. You, you do it your way, that, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to knock you for soldering and heat shrinking and all that because it's an even better connection, it really is. But this works fine as well. All right, now this is gonna be a very much smaller screw. And it's just not gonna come out. So we're having to go caveman on it here with some pliers to free it. All right, yeah, so the pliers deal wasn't working to get the other one out, so I'm gonna have a sweet, sweet ass blood blister right there. So, extension, ratchet, stick it through the other hole, <laughs> that's what she said, and crack it right loose, it's done. Now we're going to move on to the fun part of this, trying to pop these out. These things were a pain from what I remember last time. Just work them back and forth like this. Until the metal's weak and it just kind of breaks out. Now don't do this if you're going to run the aftermarket ones, um, either the ones that he sells or your own set. Uh, you don't want to break these out. There we go. Get that out of there. All right, so now we got everything together here. LED light, the turn signals, all of that stuff is back together now. So, now it's just a simple matter of running the wires plugging everything up. All right, so you're gonna wanna run all your wiring back up through this little hole right here. So we're gonna start with that. And then come up here and actually, uh, actually plug everything in. And the so first thing that I'm gonna roll through here is my connection that I made. Okay, 
we've uh, changed position a little bit so we're not pointed into the, into the uh, sunlight. So, one thing that you need to know is with this fender eliminator, you do have to go buy bolts. Um, I just, well, not bolts, uh, but nuts and lock washers. Um, and it's easy. Easy to just run to Lowe's or a hardware store. Um, I just matched up with the stock bolts. So, I couldn't find any, uh, any of like the nylon threaded nuts, so I got some split washers which will work just as good. Um, the factory bolt size for this is M8 uh, by 1.25. So, easy, pretty common, not very hard to go find, uh, if you just go to Lowe's, I think I paid like $2.50 for it, um, so like I said, really, really, no, uh, not, a, not a huge deal, not expensive to try to track down or anything like that, just easy. So we'll go ahead and line this back up. Got all that run up through here. And now we'll start plugging things back in. Let's uh, make sure. Yep. Yep. LED is bright as hell. I'll actually put the camera down there for you. All right, so make sure everything works. License plate light is nice and epically bright. It doesn't really show up that well on the video. As you can see, it, uh, cleaned it up a lot more. That looks so much better now, in my opinion. Sorry, I'm working off my phone, so I don't know how good this is going to come out, how steady it'll come out. But as you can see, the LEDs are super, super bright. I mean, they're really bright. I've got the exact same setup on my FZ07. Same company, everything. I've had it for two and a half years. I even did the same connections. I've had zero issues with it. Now, of course, mine, I don't have turn signals because I've got the TST integrated light, which is what we've been talking about going with on this. We've been seriously talking about going with the TST um, rear tail light on this thing. So who knows, maybe we'll do that. Maybe that'll be our next install. All right, so again, everybody, um, sorry, I'm doing this off my phone. <laughs> my phone does uh, higher quality videos than my uh, camera does. But um, thank you again um, for watching videos, subscribing. Uh, make sure to click the notification bell. That way you'll know when things are posted by me. I know I've been kind of slacking on posting lately. I'm sorry for that. Um, I've got some got some stuff in the pipeline some ride and reviews uh that i just need to finish editing I need to finish i need to edit this video and uh there's a couple of vlogs too uh just like bike night stuff like that that i want to get up and um just everything's crazy with work right now so i hope you guys understand youtube is not my only job um i work a lot of hours so in the meantime um thank you again I can't believe we hit a thousand subs. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and uh, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Make sure to click the little bell so you get notified when I post. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. And uh, until the next one, peace.